Happy Friday, Pasco County, and Happy New Year. Welcome to this week's edition of the Pasco Sheriff's Weekly Report. I'm Public Information Officer Melanie Snow. Let's go off the top and start with who's wanted this week. Take a look at these photos. We are attempting to identify the person in this picture. Now, this group of people entered Lids, that's a store located on Grand Cypress Drive in Wesley Chapel. The individual male pictured made a purchase of over $70 with a fraudulent debit card. Now, this occurred back on November 16th, 2017. If you can identify this man, please call our tips line. And take a look at these pictures. Thursday morning at around 1.30 a.m., these individuals entered the Wawa located on US 19 and Holiday. Once they were inside, they proceeded to take multiple food items and then they walked out the front door towards Bonita Road and continued westbound on Bonita. Again, if you can identify these individuals, you know what to do, call the tips line or you can go to the website. And we are investigating an armed robbery that occurred this week. Take a look at this image and see if you can recognize this person. Now this armed robbery occurred on the 3rd at the AT&T store on Del Mabry Highway in Lutz. The unknown black male was armed with a handgun. He forced the victims back into the store as they were leaving. They were actually locking up for the night. He had them take money from the store and give to him out of a safe. He also took multiple iPhones and threw those in a backpack as he left. He fled south toward Target. The suspect is described as a slender-built black male, approximately seven feet, two inches tall, wearing a gray mask, camouflage hoodie, and jeans. Please call our tips line if you can identify the person in this armed robbery. And then check out this video from January 1st. You're looking at a suspect around 4:10 a.m. who gained access to the scoreboard sports bar and grill that's on Universal Plaza in Holiday. He broke the front glass door with a brick and then reached in and removed an unknown amount of cash from one of the game machines by breaking the glass on the side of the machine. He was wearing black long sleeve shirt, gray sweatpants, red and white ball cap, and brown shoes with orange laces. You can identify this person. Call our tips line. You can leave a tip anonymously on our website. And of course, you can also go to this Facebook post, which you can find on our Facebook page and comment below. And finally, in this week's Wanted, check out this video. Now, this video is in the Thousand Oaks East and Thousand Oaks West and Southern Oaks neighborhood. All of these neighborhoods, including Water's Edge, experienced multiple vehicle burglaries. A black male suspect was captured on this video surveillance. If you're able to identify the suspect, call our tips line. This occurred on Christmas Day, 2017. So any information you have about that case, be sure to give us a call. In custody this week, this woman for trafficking in methamphetamine. On December 31st, Vera K. Root was charged and arrested for trafficking in meth and possession of a controlled substance without a script. And take a look at this photo. In this week's cold case, we feature Paula Wade. Paula Wade was reported missing on March 16, 1991 by her live-in boyfriend. She'd been residing on Causeway Boulevard in Land Lakes at the time of her disappearance. She allegedly walked away from her residence and was never seen or heard from again. This is a Crime Stoppers case. If you have any information about it, please call Crime Stoppers right away at the number on the screen and you can have a reward of up to $3,000 with any information leading to what happened to Paula Wade. And a side note leading into the weekend, do expect to see some extra patrols from our agency on Saturday. There's going to be a funeral procession for Paul Anderson, who was killed along the Suncoast Parkway a couple of weeks ago in the area of State Road 54 and Celtic Drive. That's where that funeral procession is going to be. Extending to US 19 South, we're going to be having those extra patrols from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. And during that time, we urge traffic to be conscious, maybe take a different route if you can, because we do expect a high influx of traffic volume during that time. Have a great weekend, Pasco County. Stay safe. Don't forget the 9 p.m. routine, and we'll see you back here next week.